in the diagram below f of x is equals to x cube minus 5x squared plus 3x plus 9 right and g of x is equals to 3x plus 9 f and g the intersect at a a is this point here right as you can see in the graph i've highlighted f of x in green and then the question itself is saying that if h of x is the tangent at a then calculate the coordinates of b the x intercept of h if h of x is the tangent at a then let's calculate the coordinates of b the x intercept of h yes b here we're looking for the coordinates of b right the x intercept of h it would be pretty much easy to calculate the coordinates of b if we had the equation of h of x right so for this equation we're basically trying to find the equation of h of x after we have the equation of h of x everything just becomes extremely easy so how are we going to find the equation of h of x i want you to realize something here they're saying that h of x is a tangent at a right if we find one uh the coordinates of a right if we find the coordinates of a then we're gonna have uh the gradient uh of h of x right we're going to have uh, the gradient of h of x and then from the gradient of h of x we're gonna then have the equation uh, y is equals to mx plus c right if we have uh, the equation of h of x then it will become easy to find the coordinates of b so let's go ahead and do what i'm proposing so here at a we are told that f and g they intersect right so if we equate uh, f of x and g of x then we should be able to find the x value at that point right so let's say f of x uh is equals to um, g of x right we want to find the x coordinate of a so what is f of x f of x is x cube minus 5x squared plus 3x plus 9 being equals to 3x plus 9 right so here we have 3x plus 9 and then now you should be able to see that we have 3x plus 9 on the left hand side and 3x plus 9 on the right hand side so that would fall off right meaning that we now only have x cube minus 5x squared being equals to 0 right if we take x squared as a common factor here we're gonna have x squared uh, multiplied by x minus 5 being equals to 0 so x squared is gonna be equals to 0 or x minus 5 is gonna be equals to 0 so right now uh, you should be able to see here that x is equals to 0 or x is equals to five right and then we can see here that a our point a is nowhere close to to the origin right so at a that's where we have x is equals to five and then where we have x is equals to zero is this point here where they also intersect so we have the x value of a right uh, now let's go ahead and find the y value of a so how can we find the y value of a we can either substitute x is equals to 5 into f of x or g of x right but then for the sake of simplicity let's substitute it into g of x because it's an easier equation compared to f of x right so now we're going to say that uh, g of 5 is equals to so g of x is 3x plus 9 right so we're gonna have 3 multiplied by 5 plus 9 so we have 3 multiplied by 5 which is 15 plus 9 that should be 24 so now we know that for a the x value is 5 and the y value is 24 and just like that we have the coordinates of a right uh, from the coordinates of a like i've already proposed uh, we need to look for the gradient at that point which is going to be the gradient of h of x since h of x is a tangent of f of x right so how can we find the gradient at that point we can easily derivate f of x right and so substitute the x value of a we know fully well that f of x is equals to x to the power 3 minus 5x squared plus 3x plus 9 so if we derivate this we're gonna get f prime of x uh, being equals to 3x squared minus 10x 
plus 3 right uh, we're just using uh, the power rule here and then now we can substitute uh, the x coordinate of a to find the gradient at that point so we're saying that f prime of uh, 5 will be equals to 3 multiplied by 5 squared minus 10 multiplied by 5 uh, plus 3 right so f prime of 5 will be equals to so we have 5 squared which is 25 right and then 25 multiplied by 3 that will be 75 minus 10 multiplied by 5 that is just 50 so we have 25 and then uh, 25 plus 3 should be 28 so the gradient at that point is 28 and that's exactly what we say in uh, the gradient of h of x is right so now we can say that h of x is equals to mx plus c we say that m is 28 so we have 28 uh, multiplied by x plus c right we can substitute a if we substitute a so let's say sub a and then uh, 5 and 24 uh, this is in attempt to find c right uh, so h of x uh, the y value will be 24 being equals to 28 multiplied by 5 uh, plus c so here consequently c is going to be equals to 24 minus 28 multiplied by 5 right and that should be equals to minus 116 so now we know fully well that h of x is equals to 28x minus 116 right let's not forget what we're looking for here we're looking for b right the x intercept of h of x and we know fully well that if we're looking for the x intercept uh we let y be equals to zero and then if we do that we're gonna get zero uh, being equals to 28x minus 116 so x should consequently be equals to 116 divided by 28 which is just uh, 29 divided by 7 so now we're saying that the coordinates of b uh, is 29 divided by 7 and 0